Editing attribute properties. Let's open this block up in the block editor. I'm going to go to the block editor and select the, the block that I'm interested in editing. Now I come along and I have my attributes. If I pick on an attribute and I right click, I go to properties. My properties dialog box will come up with an attribute definition. It'll have the general information such as layer, etc. And note, we should always be creating our block information, our block geometry, and our block attributes on layer zero. Okay, always layer zero. So make sure this is on layer zero for every attribute. Then we come down to our text. In our text, we can change everything about our text if we want. We can change it right here. So we can change the height, the, the rotation, the width factor, etc. We can come down to the miscellaneous and we can change basically our modes. And what's nice about this is we can change the modes from invisible being yes to no or constant being yes to no. Or we can go locking the position from yes to no. So it's a great way to change these things that might change in the middle of the midstream uh, of our design. Um, so basically we can change any of the modes and we can change any of the values of our attribute text uh, all in one location which is very handy. So make sure you go to your block editor, pick on a particular uh, item. So we can now pick on this one, right click, we can go to properties and we can change those uh, information. Uh, remember that we could always select multiple pieces of information and go to properties. And in this case, we don't get to change everything, but we can change what layer they're on and we can change you know, maybe the text height or something like that go cool, across the board. So we can use our properties dialog box to edit attribute properties. Uh, to do so, we go into our block editor and pick on the actual uh, attribute and then right click and go to um, our properties palette.